I've had a request to model this little uh, tiny house scene on this street and uh, I think it's a really cute uh, thing so I'm gonna give that a go so in this uh, part one we'll model the basic house uh, roof and the, and the windows and we'll see how it goes GZ1 move the cube up in face selection I'm gonna select that top face and just pull it up and give myself a little bit of height all right, I'm going to bring in an edge loop about two thirds down the house. All right, and we are going to um, create this uh, section that sticks out. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm going to uh, bring in another edge loop uh, just below that. Let's see what I'm doing with that in just a minute. Front view, I'm gonna put an edge loop right in the middle and then two edge loops right there and I'm going to select these two edges and pull them forward like this okay. now I'm going to in face selection select those faces I'm just going to get rid of them make it a little bit easier for myself in edge selection I'm going to select that edge and I'm going to turn on snap to edge and I'm going to pull that out and snap into there. Select everything and go Alt. Uh, let's actually see what I have to do. Clean up. There, I'll do that. Merge by distance. I'm going to do that. And hopefully, uh, these points are now merged. Okay, turn off snapping there. And I'm going to select, uh, let's say, uh, these points and make a face, and those points make a face. And then join those up. Make sure we get the right one, so. Select everything, Alt N, we calculate outside my normals. So I have that. I'm gonna put on a bevel, and I'm gonna go for, try three segments in 0 0.01. I have the basics of my little house coming along. Okay, back into uh, edit mode. I'm gonna bring an edge loop down here and I'm looking at this width here to make these parts here so I do something like that and bring another one down control B to bevel and I'm going to pull and I'm going to create this thickness here similar to that okay I can now select that edge and I can make it a bit bigger if I want to and I can grab both of them, pull them up. Then I'm going to bring another one in around here. This area a little bit taller than this. Control B. And again, I'm going for a similar thickness. They don't have to be exact. Okay. In face selection, I'm going to select these three faces and these three faces. And I'm going to hit E to extrude. And I'm going to pull them out a little bit like that so it sticks out. And let me go back in here and bring it down a little bit. Okay. In face selection, I'm going to shift alt and click on an edge to get the entire loop. And I can look down in top view and wireframe if I want to. I'm going to go E and alt S and I'm going to pull and I'm going to match up that distance pretty much. Deselect. Go back into solid view and you can see what I've got there. Okay, now I'm thinking that this is a little bit too low, or maybe I want it a bit higher so I have a bit more space here, so that's an easy fix. I'm going to go into wireframe, and I'm just going to box select all of that, and just pull it up a bit. Okay, easy to do. Okay, now I'm going to create those windows, so let's, in face selection, select that face, shift D, pull it out, and P, enter in object mode select it and set origin to geometry so I've got a new object here that I can use to make the window and I'll just copy that and duplicate it from front view I'm going to go into edit mode and select it and then I'm going to hit S to scale and pull it in one close to the edges here let's have a look at that window 
Okay. Quite low to this piece here. A little bit more space there. If we cared about that. So in edge selection, I'll just pull this down a little bit. And maybe I'll select the whole thing and pull it down. Bring this back up a bit. Select the whole thing. Let's make the frame. So let's hit I to inset. Pull it in. Something like that. X faces to leave them. A to select it all. Let's extrude back. E. Pull back to give some thickness. With that still selected, X faces. So I get rid of the back faces. Pull this in and see how we like that window so far. Okay. We need the middle piece, so let's select in face selection. That face. Look in front view. Shift D to duplicate and pull it down just a little bit past that midpoint, that dot there. E to extrude. I'm going to pull it up. So it's the, the dot is roughly in the middle. So I get this cross piece here. All right. We deselect, go into wireframe, and select that face on the end and that face. Pull, holding shift, scale in the X and pull the piece so it goes right into the side frame. And with those selected X faces, go back into solid view and have a look. Now that would be okay, but I think I'll do a little bit more by just grabbing that and pulling it in. So it's not in line or flush with the surface. It might look a little bit better. That bevel is a bit too strong here, so I'm going to change this to uh, 0 0.07. We'll try that. And I think I'm going to like that more. Okay, so there's my first window. I'm going to take this Shift-D and move it around in the X. I'm going to look from top view. And I'm going to line it up with this edge right there. So I'm going to rotate it to Z just by I and G and I can just pull it over. Rotate it to Z and G and just position it. And I'll do that kind of thing here. And I'll just do that again. Shift D pull it out to this side. Look from the top view, rotate Z or Z, depending on where you're at in the world. Okay, that's gonna look uh, that's gonna look fine. So we've got these windows here, and let's grab these and make sure. Yeah, they're going to be on the top as well. A lot of space on the bottom compared to the top on this one. So we'll see. We may have to raise that roof. Raise the roof. Let's do that. No, I don't think we have to raise the roof. I think we're good. All right. Cool. Let's take this window, shift D, slide it out. Up from there. We'll roughly center it. And this one. This one looks a little bit wider than this one. Okay, it's approximately the same height. It may be different, but I'm going to leave it at the same height. So, I'm going to go into edit mode and wireframe. I'm going to box select here. I'm just going to pull it out by eye like this. And um, I just hit one for vertex selection. I'm going to box select here and pull it back in. I'll select the whole thing. I just maybe I'll just move this a little bit like that. Okay, let's not have it floating in space. We'll just bring it in until it touches the house. And we've got that. Very cool. All right. Let's make the roof. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to grab the bottom here. In face selection, I'm going to select all these faces holding down shift and then shift D to duplicate and pull it up to the top. I'm going to separate this out so it's its own object. So I'm going to go P and enter back in object mode, select it, set origin geometry back in edit mode. And I don't need these edges, so I press 2 to go in edge selection, hold down shift, get those X dissolve edges. So I have just that. Let's grab this edge. Actually, let's take the whole thing and pull it down a little bit. It's a little bit easier to see when it's close. 
this one's got to extend forward. Let's so just position it till you like it. Let's select the whole thing. Let's make it a little bit wider. Scale on the X. Hold down Shift to move a bit slower. So it overhangs. Let's do some more like that. And grab the back one and pull it out as well. It's, it's not important that it's even all over. Okay, so let's make the height of the roof. The roof is similar to this height right here. So just do it by eye. You do extrude and bring it up. Something like, something like that. I'm going to scale this in the X towards the middle. So put my mouse way out to the side. S X. Pull. I don't want a point. I just want a narrow band like that. Okay, this has inherited the bevel because I copied it from the bottom, so that's good. We need that, and that is going to be fine for me. So I'm going to go into um, edit mode and in face selection number three, select that face, and we're going to use the inset tool, I to inset, pull in. Just watch that you don't go too far and it crosses over, just like this. Right. E to extrude and pull it in like that. And I'm going to do a little bit more here. Now I'm going to move the whole thing up and you'll see what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this bottom face, E to extrude and pull down. Well, just a little bit. I just want it uh, sort of rounding off here and, and flat. And that gives this a little bit more thickness as well. Okay, I'm going to take the whole roof and make sure that we're on top there there we go and take this window here in front view shift D and G and then bring it up get it roughly centered rotate Y90 and we'll look from the side we can go in wireframe Okay, so we're going to make this window, and uh, we need to make this window sort of uh, narrow and tall with sort of equal spacing there. All right, so I'm going to go into edit mode, look for the front, and we'll just do it by eye again. I'll go into wireframe, so I can box select here, and I'm going to pull it in a ways, and I'll just sort of match that distance roughly pull that into the middle see if we like this does that look anything like it hmm? these are a bit squarer than than mine that's totally fine i think i'm gonna like that just fine all right, so we are definitely on our way making this little house. I think that's a good place to leave it for the time being. And then we'll come back and we'll carry on.